So I love tech, I really do, but tech has to work for me, not the other way around. And every time I take a note on my iPhone or iPad, it has to be easier than capturing that same information on a sticky note or a notepad from my pocket, or I just don't even want to fool with it. Well, I pretty much figured out what works for me, so no more receipts or phone numbers on sticky notes stuck in my pants pocket, only to be dissolved into a thousand bits in the washing machine. If you'd like to learn how to avoid that mess and use your iPhone to quickly take a note, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich, and if you've watched any videos on this channel, you know I keep these tutorials simple. Every video I make is designed to teach you a few useful things that you might find helpful, and today is no different. I don't know about you, but when I'm out and about, I often need to capture a quick piece of information, like the price of an item at Home Depot, or scan a receipt at a restaurant, or jot down a phone number, you know, things like that. Well, in the past, I was doing that mostly by taking a photo, and, and that worked, except I had a bunch of photos of receipts and prices for tools in my photo album, cluttering everything up. Well, I finally cut that out. Now I use Apple Notes to solve this problem, and it works great. And in this short video, I'll show you how you can do that too. I'll show you how to add notes and quick notes, little icons, to the control center, how to create a quick note, you know, quickly, how to create a note from the notes icon in a way you might not expect, how to add a picture to notes that won't land in your photo album, and how to scan a document into notes. And all of this has to be done in a matter of a few seconds. If it takes much longer than that, at least for me, it's probably not worth it. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is how to create a quick note using Control Center. Now you may remember from a couple videos I've had about Control Center, that you access Control Center by swiping down from the top right. And you have a bunch of icons here, but I don't see an icon for a note or a quick note in there. So let me show you how to add those if you don't have them in there. So what you do is you go to Settings, and then you go to Control Center, and then you see what's included in the Control Center here, and these are more things you can add. If you go down here, you can see Notes and Quick Notes. I'm gonna add both of those. And now Notes and Quick Note is up in Control Center. And if I go back to my home screen and I swipe down, now I've got Quick Notes. And Quick Note looks, it's got like a little scribbly line in it right there. That sort of indicates that it's a Quick Note. And then the little plus with a note sign is just a regular note. And that's how you add those to Control Center. Pretty straightforward. Now here's where the rubber meets the road. Let's say you're out and you need to take a Quick Note. You can just swipe down, tap on Quick Note, and there you go. And maybe it's uh, call John. And I can type his number in here, just like that. And I've saved it and a quick note is done. And that only took a couple of seconds to do. Honestly, in the time it would take me to reach in my pocket, get a pen out, find a pad, notepad, or a sticky, or something like that, I could have already added it there. And now when you go into notes, it's in into quick notes, that note that I just typed in is there. And you can move that note, maybe you wanna put it in a folder that you have somewhere other than quick notes, and save that note in a permanent fashion. But that's just a quick way to get a quick note into Apple Notes. And I use that all the time, and I think if you started using it and got the hang of it, you would really like it too. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to create a note from the Notes icon. Now normally you see an icon like that and you just tap in it, and then you go into a folder, and then you go down here and tap on the little square with a pencil in it to create a new note. That is a lot of work to create a new note. Too much friction for me. There's a better way to do that, and that is just to tap and hold, and now you get a choice. You can create a new note, a new checklist, a photo, and you can scan a document even. So in this case, if you wanted to put a note, not a quick note, but a, just a regular note into Apple Notes, 
you can just tap, hold, click on new note, and now you can start typing your note. Same thing. I've added my sister's phone number. Of course, it's not really her phone number. But that's how you add a note, and you did that without having to go into notes. You just simply tapped, and the choice came up, and you clicked on new note, and you took your note down. And that's a very quick way to add a note to Apple Notes. All right, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to add a photo to a note. So for me, this came in real handy. You know, if I'm going to Home Depot and I want to take a look at the price on something and maybe compare it to Lowe's or Amazon or something like that. In the past, like I said, I just take a picture of it and be my photo album. But now I do it in notes and this is how you do it. You simply press on it again and click on new photo. And now you can take a picture just like that. And you can click on use photo and make a note. Um, depot plant, uh, $5. And now I'm done. And just like that, I've added a picture into my notes with a price for the plant from Home Depot. And I do that all the time. It's just a quick and easy way to do it. And this picture now is not in my uh, photos folder. It's just in notes. And by the way, if you want to search for a note, say you've put it in here, maybe you don't have the folder structure I have. I made a video on how I set things up. Uh, but if you want to search for it, you can just tap in the search field and you can tap on notes with attachments. A picture is or a photo is considered an attachment. And if you just tap on that, it, up it pops right there, just like that. That's just an extra tip there. All right, the last thing I want to show you is how to scan a document into notes. Again, we're on the home page, and maybe you have a receipt at a restaurant. Maybe you're, you, you need to keep track of this kind of thing. It can be anything, really. But you can just tap on it and click Scan Document. And then I'll just scan a receipt I have here. And it'll find it and take the picture for you, just like that. And now we'll put down save. And we can make a note, food lion, and click done. And now that has been stored. And if you go back into search again, you've got notes with scanned documents. You can tap on that, and now the note comes up. And there's the receipt for, the, for some groceries that I bought. And that is a very quick and easy way to uh, get a copy of a receipt. When I'm doing something like that, too, I also have a receipts folder just so I don't have a thousand receipts floating all over the place. If you have your note up like that, you can tap on move note and in this case I'm going to move it to my receipts folder and now I'm done and now it's in the in the receipts folder and if I go to areas and receipts there's the receipt and I just keep track of my receipts in there it's a very very handy way to do things okay so that was a pretty short but I hope useful video Whatever friction remains using an iPhone to do this is outweighed by the fact that I've got a permanent copy on my phone. And of course it shows up on my iPad too. And I can then arrange and sort the notes as I see fit or delete them if I don't need them any longer. For me, this is really better than writing things down with a pen and pencil. And now that I've got the hang of it, it's pretty quick too. Well, that's it for today. I hope you try these note tips out. You'll be glad you did. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.